there was just like nothing for me also, not only the skincare, but also the makeup. Every yeah. makeup was like very yeah. light. But then I had this one experience like going to the USA for the first time and I thought, okay, mm. here are so many black people. And then I found my first makeup when I was like 23 or something. It's never too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah. Hi, my name is Frank Jong. My name is Carlotta Nwajide. Hi, my name is Martin Hyun. I'm Martina Rink. I'm an author. My name is Simon Yusifo. I'm co-author of People of Deutschland. Hi, my name is Mikala Fernandes. I'm a TV host and an author. And this is Skin Out Loud by Nivea. I was one of the very, very few female black hosts on German television. And you know what they told me? You're just white enough. Really? Wow. Really. Racism. Uh... Yeah, it was always with me and up until the, the professional level. Were you the uh, first um, Korean to be in a German yes. national team in the history of German hockey? Yes, yes. Wow. Maybe. Because the visibility is so important. Yeah. Uh, from the visibility that, like you as a moderator mm -hmm. or you as an Olympic rower, I always felt that like people were staring at me, like, what's she doing here? Mm. And then I had the feeling that I have to be extra strong uh, to deserve a place there. Because of that, it's so healing to meet other BIPOC people that somebody said, yes, your experience is valid and it's hurtful. Yeah, but we can stick together. I think, and we probably all can relate to it, we are always the only one in the room with a different skin color. When there's other POCs who talk to you that they're actually feeling the same and that just connecting by meeting already gives you so much energy. I mean, it's, it's yeah. crazy that, um, that you need the visibility or the representation, right? right? But somehow, it's important to see someone do it first. Mm. And then now we're in a, in a position where we are the inspiration. Mm. Right? And I've never thought in my life that I would be an inspiration for somebody. And I think that's why this book, People of Deutschland, is so important because hopefully by telling stories, you can access allies that might not be aware of their privilege, but learn it and then can reach out. We didn't have any role models. Yeah. And um, so this book is really for a young generation as well who needs role models to understand you can do it as well. Mm. But how did you connect? Because like, you know, our color is something that connects us to our heritage. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I grew up in Germany, you know, and I'm German. For some reason, when I came back to Cabo Verde for the first time, I was like, weird. This feels like home. I don't know. Did, did one of you guys had that? Have that experience, maybe? Yeah, for sure. I was in the subway in Korea in Seoul. We went through a tunnel, and then I saw myself in the mirror of the window. Mm -hmm. And I saw all the other people, and they all looked like me, and I was just blending in. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't look different. And it was the first time that I can recall that I was like, oh, I just look like everybody. You know what, I, I have one final question for all of you. What, what would you tell your younger self, and this is what you did, you wrote a letter to your younger self. It's a great part of the book. There is a space and a place for you, mm. and there are people you can connect with. You don't have to try to adapt, just be yourself and just go on, you're right the way you are. Right. Today you were listening and watching Skin Out Loud by Nivea, and we talked about skin as a connector, not a divider. And I hope there was something that connected to you to our experiences. Take whatever you learned from this. Thank you for listening.